Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, I want to talk about a side of the trend cycle that I don't think we often see or like the public doesn't talk about enough, which is what happens once you've purchased those five minute trends and you want to get rid of them to make room in your wardrobe for the next trending item. I feel like the public discourse on this centers so much on people buying into five minute trends and how harmful that is for the environment. But we don't often talk about how harmful it is when they flood secondhand stores with this fast fashion clothing that they no longer want and how it brings down the overall quality of these secondhand marketplaces, which so many people depend on for their clothing. And often what I see happen is people just put them on Depop or vintage or any resale platform without even wearing them like they buy into this trend and then they keep them in their wardrobe for like four or five months and then they sell them new with tags for a loss and don't seem to see anything wrong with that i wanted to prove my point by going onto a couple secondhand stores and searching for recent trends that have been happening i'd say like last year last spring or even last autumn and seeing how many items we can find that are new with tags um so let's do that okay so i know for example the barbie trend was absolutely massive last year and people were buying pink in all different shades all different styles but I don't think that's really continuing into this year. I think it's gonna be more of a Beyonce summer. Um, so it's likely that a lot of people are shifting the items they wore a couple of times already on secondhand stores. So I'm gonna search for that on Depop and Vinted and see what comes up. I'm gonna put in brand new with tags and see what happens. Yeah, immediately you have Fashion Nova pink dress. You have Zara gingham pants. Um, a lot of accessories. Oh, a pink dress from George, which is, I think, Asda's supermarket chain. Pretty Little Thing, pink halter neck dress. Oh, Polly top, which is kind of Barbie, I guess. A Pretty Little Thing, pink blazer. Um, I think I'm proving my point here. All of these items are new with tags. If we like click into this blazer. PLT, bright pink fitted blazer, size 10, new with labels, never been worn, just missed the return period. Let's go on to Vinted and see if this is the same story over there. Yeah, Marks and Spencer's, Nasty Gal, Forever 21, H&M. It's always fast fashion brands that I seem to see on here selling old trends. It's never like, you know, a mid-tier brand or a luxury brand in this style. It's always H&M, Zara, Shein even. And I think that's just like representative of the fact that people are shopping fast fashion for trends. It's never about investment pieces. It's about buying something for five minutes to fit in with what everyone's doing. And then knowing that you can sell it on on a secondhand platform. It really annoys me because secondhand is such a good gateway into being sustainable. But when you come onto these sites and they're flooded with fast fashion of people that haven't worn these items and just want to sell them on, it can just be really disheartening. And I don't want to see this like bad quality stuff when I'm looking secondhand. I, I want to be able to afford more, um, which is part of the reason I come to these stores anyway. What's another trend that was going on? Ugg boots, Ugg boots and Birkenstocks. Let's try both of them. So Ugg boots on Vinted. So Uggs, newer tags. Primark, 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 Primark. Primark obviously did a knockoff Ugg boot. Shein, um, Primark, Shein. See, I'm not seeing actual Ugg boots here, which is kind of interesting um, and does kind of prove my point that if you're going to buy into a trend and you actually buy into an expensive part of the trend, then maybe you keep it longer. And if you're just shopping fast fashion, then you're kind of setting yourself up to sell it on. Okay, so if you come on to Depop, it's kind of a different story. The boots themselves are actually from Ugg and they're in per like perfect packaging, but they're a lot more expensive. Like between Vinted, which is selling, you know, versions of it for three pound, four pound 50. You come on to Depop and it's like, 50 pounds to 40 pounds and they're all actually branded i think that's really interesting i don't but like why why are you paying 50 pounds but not wearing it 
Like if we go on this one, which looks like a legit UGG clog. Yeah, they're brand new. The packaging looks intact. Like the sole is not dirty. They're, they're brand new. Why have you bought into this trend? Spent 50, well, more than 55 pounds. Let's see how much this goes for. Let's see. Okay, so these look like kind of the same ones, I think. 105 pounds. Have they bought 105 pound slippers? And now they're selling them for 55 pounds without being worn, but because they're no longer in trend, you've made a loss of like two thirds. I think this is insane. I think there's something like seriously wrong with this. It's just crazy to me. Why are they not wearing these shoes? Why have they bought them in the first place? Why have you not like had a thought in your mind thinking, do I actually want this? Will I actually wear this? And there's so many examples. Like if we go to, oh, I didn't do Birkenstock yet. Let's, let's do Birkenstocks. So many, again. 90 pounds, 80 pounds, 110 pounds. Let's go on the 110 pound ones. Never worn, box and tag still attached. Birkenstocks men's tang clogs. Let's go, let's Google search that and see how much they come up for. 150. So this guy is losing 40 pounds roughly on these shoes. I mean, it depends which ones he got, I don't actually know. But like roughly 40 pounds for shoes he's never worn because he bought into a trend and then decided they weren't actually for him. It's crazy. I think we need to call this out more. I did like a tweet about this actually recently because this is happening with every single trend that is like, even quiet luxury, which is massive right now, which has lasted over four or five seasons, like, and people are really feeling it. That will soon have the exact same instances of people selling on new with tags. And I'm not even touching on the amount of stuff that must be there that's like been worn once. I'm literally just focusing on stuff that's new with tags. It's just flooding the market with fast fashion and trends when secondhand should be about being able to find, you know, actually good pieces and like gems and not dependent on what's trending on TikTok. And I think that's what bothers me most. It's like, it's, it's polluting something that should be separate. There's a reason people shop secondhand. And I think maybe partly to buy trends at a lower price, but I think certainly not to buy fast fashion. I just think there's some sort of, there's must be something that goes through people's mind who do this regularly, that's like seeing this trend on someone else, like denim maxi skirts, for example. People see that on other people, they see it on like Instagram styled in a really nice way. And they don't have that thought that's like, does this actually go with my wardrobe? Will I actually like this? They immediately buy into it because the barrier for entry is so low. It's like, you know, 10 pounds on Shein and you can get your own denim cargo maxi skirt without thinking about how that suits you. And it arrives and they have no idea how to wear it and they don't know, and they don't like it on themselves or what for whatever reason, but, because they only spent 10 pounds on it, is it worth sending it for a turn? Do you just like try shove it onto someone else? I think rant aside, that's the kind of moral here. It's that you need to make sure that when you're buying something, you're not being influenced to buy it. And you're actually buying it because you think it's something you'll like. And that's kind of hard and you're not gonna get it right every time. And I don't get it right every time. I'm not trying to preach. Like I bought into the colored tights trend recently and I have not worn them. Um, but I'm keeping them because maybe one day I will. And if not, they're really good layering pieces for under jeans in the winter. So I know it's hard. No one can get it right every time, but I do have a couple of top tips to try help you. So I said this in my Q and A video, but unfollow influencers who are constantly trying to push newness on you because this is their job and they get paid when people click on their affiliate links and stuff. So they are trying to sell you something all the time. Um, they're not your friends. They're, they're, this is a business to them. You are a profit. So, I mean, unfollowing them even for like three months while you try reset your brain could help. And then if you love them, come back to them with your new mindset of, I don't need to buy from them. I can just, you know, like their stuff. Um, don't impulse buy. So if you see something you like, make sure that you maybe put it on a list somewhere and forget about it for two weeks. And if you find yourself thinking about it constantly, or if you come back to the list and you're like, yeah, I actually really do still like that, then buy it. Um, 
which is what I do and I find it's the most effective way to stop me buying something that I regret. So many things like my Ghani boo bag, like my cowboy boots, the Damson Mada vest that I just bought. I waited at least a month to buy those things and I love them. I'm never gonna get rid of them, so. I think a really good one when it comes to trends specifically is trust your first gut instinct when you see something. So I had a really negative reaction to denim maxi skirts when I first saw them. I really didn't like them, even though it was an influencer styling them and she styled them really nicely. I knew that I didn't like it. And because they stuck around for a few seasons, I started to like gradually become used to them and like them more and more. But I, held, I stuck to my guns and I was like, I didn't like them in the first place. That means something. I won't like it on me. I can appreciate it on other people, but something about this does not click with me and my style. And I have not regretted it. I still don't like them, even though I don't mind them as much. I think another really good way of being maybe trendy, but not regretting being in a trend and not, you know, just following a trend. So you're part of the crew. <laughs> so you're part of the crew, so you're part of like, you know, this social conversation, is to adapt it to suit you. So for example, if leopard print is trending like it is now, buying it in something that you know you love, like say if you are a really big fan of sneakers, then buying sneakers with a leopard print will most likely mean that you stick to wearing it for longer do you know what i mean or like say with the recent ballet flat trend if you know you don't like ballet flats but you do like another type of open shoe like mary jane's then buy into mary jane's no one's really going to be able to tell the difference and you'll still be on trend because you know you've got to the bottom of the trend which is open shoes but you're doing it in your way and I think that will earn you cool points anyway, but it will also mean you stick to your guns and you keep this item around longer. I think the final tip I have for you is rent it first because it's such an easy way to buy something without committing and you can try it on in your wardrobe and make sure that it suits you and your style without you know, having it forever if it doesn't. Um, I think a few of the people on Vinted and Depop who are selling things new with tags should have just done this anyway. You know, rent it for a week, get a good couple of Instagram photos, be part of the trend, but then send it back and save money and save hassle of trying to sell it on to someone else when the trend's like dead. If you guys have any other tips for avoiding this whole situation, please pop them down below because I think it's so important and I think we need to help each other because it's so easy to fall into trends and to want to fit in with the group and whatever there's no judgment here it's just we need to be better as a society <laughs> and we should all help each other do that so yeah thank you for watching thank you for listening to my rant um and i'll speak to you really really soon have a lovely week bye